Sometimes the packaging is more interesting than the contents. Well, this wasn't bad content, it was little chocolate drops, but the packaging is just brilliant. The um, chocolate drops are finished, but I won't finish this, I want to keep this in my collection. My niece sent it to me, look at that. It's Santa Claus going down the chimney, head first, headlong, woo, down to the bottom to deliver his presents and put them around the Christmas tree for the child. What a lovely idea for packaging that is, so that I'm going to keep because I think it's Delightful. Now we've got some interesting science stuff here. Look at this one here. This is a beautiful Japanese coin box, but it's got one of those things with a slanted mirror, so it looks like it's a solid piece in the middle of the air, but actually it's only one piece attached to a mirror. And when you put a coin in, I won't drop the coin in immediately because when I put it in, see what happens to that um, bird that Mickey's riding? Yes. It's only one wing is going up and down, but the other wing goes up and down because, of course, it's a mirror image. So this time I'll put it all the way in and it drops in and then it slowly slows down. To turn it upside down and take it out is a bit tricky. You've got to push at a certain place here, one way or the other. And then sometimes, if you're lucky, if I'm just a little bit lucky with this, you can open it. Oh, come on now, fella. Well, I can't get my pit, my coin now, so I can't get it out. So is it here? No, it's stuck. It's still in there. I'll have to find a way of sawing it open. Oh, well, what a problem. And this is a charming idea because it's something I've had in my collection for years, but not in this version. I think it's one of those things with that wonderful fluid which makes superb movements like that when you spin it. But I discovered quite recently, when I, in fact, when I got this, that it responds to magnetism. So if I bring up the whole bunch of magnets, so near the magnets, see what happens. Look at that. Extraordinary. The patterns you get. It's a bit like that magnetic field paper we use. And just a single magnet, if I take one off here, up brings some very nice patterns on it, like that. Very, very nice idea. So it's lovely to see this fluid, which I hadn't realised until I played with this, that it responds to magnetism. And actually it is white magnetic because it's being held there by the, by the pieces inside. There must be tiny little metal pieces, I think, to create that lovely effect. So very nice, and of course it swirls very nicely if you put it on the table and spin it, and then watch the action. It decays quite quickly, but it makes some wonderful movements of swirling liquid, which I think is very, very nice indeed. So I'm very pleased to have, have that. And the last item is something, well, I wasn't given it, and um, it didn't come out, it, it's something I actually bought, I couldn't resist it. It's something that was on sale at one of my departmental stores for about £10, and there came a time when, well, let's see what it does first, so I've got to wind it up. It's one of those tins which you can put biscuits in, so, and then it's, it's got a musical box to it, and it goes around like that. Eventually, about a week after Christmas, it was on sale for not £10, but one pound. Oh, well, I have to buy it. Now I've got to think who I can give it to. What a lovely piece. And what a bargain. <laughs> <laughs>